man, I love that damn song. Like every time, I, I don't think it's gonna get old. I, I really outdid myself on that one. But anyways, welcome. It is uh, it is another time, another. It's not what it's Saturday. What the hell are we doing here on a Saturday? Who the hell? Knows? Oh yeah, we're doing HarleyCon because I got talked into doing another HarleyCon. Uh, welcome to everybody that is tuning in. This is Back Talk with Bauer. Technically, it is Back Talk with Friends, the ugly second divorce cousin of Back Talk with Bauer. And uh, I have a slew of uh, crazy people joining me tonight. I will tell everybody this right now. If you're tuning into this and you have little children in the room or little, wee little ones, tell them to get the hell out. Go to bed, Jimmy. We don't want you here. This is adult time. Back Talk with Friends is the, the kickoff to uh, adult time. Which sounds dirty uh, for a <laughs> time. So uh, I am Josh of J Bauer Art. This is episode number four. Uh, shout, do real quick plugs. If you uh, if you like the stuff, follow everything on Back Talk with Bauer. Find it on J Bauer Art. If you want a sticker, message me. Uh, big shout out to my amazing sponsors, Kingdom of Comics. Please go check them out. But uh, we will not do the long spiel that I always do. But I do have to give a shout out to my awesome mother-in-law. Hi, Mama Humphrey. I hope you are doing well. Much love. And, uh, you know, I hope we can entertain you for a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, I have a, a, a slew of people in here tonight. Sadly, the amazing uh, Eric Pabone could not join us. But I am sporting his awesome T-shirt. Go over and uh, find Eric Pabone on all the good stuff. Uh, and buy his pretty, pretty art like I did. And then uh, Pizza Peisenberg, he had to work, so he is lost to the work gods today. Uh, may he rest in peace or make pizza in peace. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to start with, let's see if I can do it that way. That, that way. There we go. So Rocky, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rocky from What's the Fuss podcast. Nice. And uh, uh, I'm John from Funny to Informing. Yeah, Pizza Peisenberg, he couldn't be here today, but... Uh, yeah, um, uh, funny to informing. Checking in. Yes, two two amazing podcasts here in the Orlando area. Uh, definitely check them out. Big supporters of mine. Willow, where can uh, who are you, and where can they find you? All right, so I'm Willow Skyler. I am host of Willow's Pillow Talk. Uh, randomly, whenever I decide to pop a show up, um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, reels and heels on Saturdays. Saturday afternoons. Yes, yes. Both shows are awesome part of the HWWS Web TV network. So please go uh, like the YouTube channel. And uh, just to give everybody a heads up, I am actually working on their website right now. And I have already put in 10, out 10 hours. So GW owes me lots of money. <laughs> He's going to lose his mind when he hears that. Um, but yeah, Joey, who are you and why? Are, you know, where can they follow you? Uh, Real easy. I'm a low-key narcissist, so everything I do is named Joey Mazant, so it's real easy to find me. I'm at the Joey Mazant on everything, and uh, I didn't date a lot in high school, hence the comics and all the beard <laughs> stuff. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm with friends. I'm ready to party, man. Y'all are y'all are significantly cooler than me, and I thank you for uh, letting me be the sympathy lay that came to the party. Thank you very much. <laughs> I already love you, man. Oh, You're yeah. underestimating our dorkiness. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you guys have never seen the show, usually the Back Talk with Bauer show is uh, a one-on-one -on -one interview with creative people. Basically, anybody I can actually talk into coming on the show with me. I have had cosplayers, uh, the amazing Joey. Actually, almost everybody except Willow has been on the show. We will get Willow on here soon. We have to schedule that on. But she's on Back Talk with Friends. So that, <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, it, the, the Back Talk with Friends is a, a monthly thing that I try to do. I get some of the random people that I've had on the show, some other people here and there, and, and get as many people into this uh, thing as I can. And we just talk about random bullshit. Um, this month's random bullshit is going to be Halloween. Uh, since we are in the month of October and we're doing HarleyCon uh, 2020 round two, um, I figured a good theme of Halloween could start. So if you are watching this and you want to be a part of the conversation, drop some Halloween themes, topics, questions, whatever you got in the comments. I will try to catch them. If you guys come up with anything, let me know. But the, the very first and most important question. Now, this is thinking back to you when you were a kid. What was the V candy you had to get when you were trick or treating? And we're going to start with Willow because I don't know if trick or treating is in Canada. So we have to find this out first. <laughs> Yeah. Is Halloween uh, trick or treating in Canada? Is that a thing? It, it definitely was a thing, but we had to make sure our uh, our costumes fit over our park, uh, our big jackets, and 
I know how that is. I'm originally from Northeast Ohio. So you have to pr plan for snow, heat, rain, uh, buildings on fire, a little bit of everything in Northeast Ohio. So I totally understand that. So what would be, since, since Halloween did exist in Canada, we learned new things uh, today. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I guess? Oh, okay. There is a candy. There is a candy you can only get in the UK and Canada. Was it wine gums? Oh, that is my I did not know wine that, gums. That, I didn't know that they only it's existed in Canada. Harder than a Starburst, less chewy than a Swedish fish. Is it perfect. Is it or is it not? Oh, I'm gonna have to send you guys some some wine gums. Those are awesome. Yeah, I'm down to try that. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, it was like three things from Canada I can tolerate: Rush, wine gums, and um. <laughs> And Willow. Two things from and now Willow because it was two things: Rush and wine gums are the only things I could tolerate. I love it. All right. So are we allowed to slander other countries, or do we save that till eight thirty? <laughs> We're allowed to now, man. It's All dinner. right. That's what I'm talking about. I'll have to send you guys Kinder surprises too because apparently you guys can't get those down. Is that here. the ones where you break it open? It's like a chocolate egg, yeah, and then there's yeah, a toy inside. And there's toys in like, yes. Why we have big versions of those. <laughs> like Nest came, rolled out with some. They were good at first when they first started bringing them out. Uh, I was kind of young because I first I had some in, uh, from like the United Kingdom or something because one of my relatives was stationed over there and then brought them to us. And those were amazing. So you go and get those and then you got these American versions and you're like, shit. <laughs> Isn't the American version just where you put the 50 cents and you get the plastic egg? No, they actually did. Yeah. Nestle came out with candy ones that were oh, just like it, but they weren't like because the the UK ones you could like it was building shit and putting together some, on some of them, and then uh, but like the UK ones I remember some Disney things and they were just kind of little statues, yeah. so there wasn't yeah it, it wasn't as good, but yeah that would those are badass. Have you um ha funny. have you been out of the country, Josh? Uh, um, I've been to Canada once. For, but it wasn't really much Canada. I went to a camping thing, and then I think I went to the Bahamas, but that doesn't really count. No, I don't think it would either, because I, I want to get my passports to go out of the same country. Thing. I never have traveled outside of the U.S., and I'm dying to. You guys should come up to Canada. Let me ask you this, Willow. If I tell you I've been to Niagara Falls, if I've been to Niagara Falls, have I been to Canada, or is that like, no? No. Depends on what side of Niagara Falls you've no. been in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there are it's, I, it's just there's, you know, there and you only have to be 19. So, like, <laughs> sometimes my friends from Canada, they're like, oh, have you been to Canada? I'm like, I love it. And they're like, oh, what part? I'm like, Niagara Falls. They're like, you haven't been to Canada. Screw you. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you haven't been to the real Canada. Canada. <laughs> you've been to fake Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Canada or cake? Cake. Oh, I like cake. There we go. Um, so, well, and I will warn everybody, this, this is a whole giant group of ADB people. So if we ever stick to a topic, it'll be fucking amazing. Uh, so Willow, did you pick a candy? Did we get that far yet? Uh, it was, it was chocolate bars, but there are like, it's really odd that we don't get like the full size chocolate bars for Halloween. We only, if, People it splurge. If people splurge for the big chocolate bars, those are the rich people. Yeah, you. That's a, <laughs> yeah. You got to go to the rich houses, or if you were like, because uh, 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 my dad lived in a different uh, town than than I did, and he lived in more of a country area, and there was a very long road, and the houses were all sp uh, spread out a bit, so the people wouldn't get as many uh, trick or treaters. So you went to those houses and they got full size candy bars. Sometimes it was king size because they didn't have as many. So they got, they splurged. Yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, it was I got often the Reese's past. Pieces or oh. uh, like, like the, sorry, the Reese's Peter, uh, peanut butter cups. Oh, those are my favorite. <laughs> I get like the Kit Kat bars that are like half as long. Yes. <laughs> and, like, yeah. Like I, those are just cats. They're not even Kit Kats. They're just cats. It's just cat. Yeah, substantially do, smaller. Do you, feel, do you feel cheated? Like, do you feel cheated that even though you got like the half Kit Kat, you still like six of them anyway? Do you guys it doesn't like, defeat the purpose? They're like, we're oh trying to God. not this year. <laughs> Did you Those go trick or treating already? Amazing. Those Hershey yeah. bars are amazing. I love the ones with almonds, though. See, oh. that's the real candy. <laughs> 
All the I king hate size. almonds. What are you thinking? <laughs> yes. Ugh. I hate almonds. I am not a. I'm side. not an almond or peanut butter guy, or uh, not peanut butter, uh, peanut guy. Like any of that stuff in candy bars, I cannot stand because really? it's like a weird texture thing. Oh. When I was a kid, we were really, really poor, and we got typically uh, now and later's or whatever the hell. You know, we got like one uh, starburst, and I always told myself that when I was an adult, I would be the guy that gave out the king sized. And so now that's that's who we are. I, w I was waiting for it, but now I'm still poor, so we just give out. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're about to we, we splurge for we, you know, it's all for the kids. Uh, I, I usually buy two did you big boxes two? of chocolates, and if if I only get like a handful of it, people, then I'm like, hey, freak, I get chocolate to myself. <laughs> Uh, did, did you ever lose a tooth okay. with an Allen later? Have you ever bit into an Allen later and opened it up and you actually pulled like your baby tooth out as a kid? No. Oh man! I, did, I, did really I, a, I broke a molar on a jawbreaker no. when I was, I was in college. Oh yeah, yeah. I deserved every fucking. When I was a kid, that was like like the poor man's dentist. You take your Allen later and and they're like, now open your mouth. You go kink and you look in the Allen later was, and there's like the roots sticking out of it. It's like whoa. Oh, it was so bad. I was driving somewhere and I just remember it was already a bad day. It must have been right after Halloween and I bit down into a jawbreaker and I broke my tooth in half. It was horrible. Oh. And then I just like kept driving. I was like, yeah, you that's what you get. That is terrible. <laughs> so, Joey, do you have a uh, a favorite candy from when you were a kid? Oh man. It was it it's like beer when you're in your 30s. Your favorite candy is the next one. <laughs> yeah. Like right. it's just like that now. I definitely understand. Dude, that's that that's one. it. It's like people are like, "What did you eat as a kid?" I'm just like, "Yes." What yeah. <laughs> it's just bring it. it, bring it. Yeah, I wasn't I that big of a uh, a candy kid. Like I didn't eat a ton of them. I, I had my specific candies here and there, but I just trick or treated for the fun of it because like it was so cool to go to all the places. But I remember like my mom always getting pissed because I didn't eat all the candy. Like she would get mad because instead of me eating all of it, like most kids, it would like most kids problem. thrown away. We didn't have that problem. We, we, I was, I Here's was a fun one. I'm saying <laughs> when, when you were trick or treating, did anybody else ever have like the friend with the super hot mom <gasps> up as Elvira every year? So you would go I over would. to their house just to see her? No? Yeah. Not just me? Yeah. Okay. I Two. am the Two hot them. person that dresses up as Elvira for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so so oh, if man. candy wasn't a thing was like so in, in, in our town, the coolest thing that could happen was um we could go to uh like Blockbuster or Taco Bell. Uh was was that a thing for any of you? Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Harley Quinn is here. How you doing, Zoll? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Be amazing. Oh, you want it you only. Have to deal with me yet. <laughs> yeah, I think they're all new to you, except for uh, Willow, of course. But welcome, Miss Quinn. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Good. Trying not to cause too much trouble, but just uh -huh. enough. What's fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Miss Quinn is the awesome host of Harle Harlequin uh, Harlequin. You There's should too know many Harleys. You made the logo. <laughs> what was that? You should know this. You made the logo. I did make the logo, and then I couldn't find it to put it onto the screen because I waited too long to get everything together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh! I was watching wrestling things and got <laughs> distracted. So, how are you holding up, Miss Quinn? Are you surviving so far? So much caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> Probably hard to try to keep track of everything that's going on right now. The only and way on almost every show too. I've seen her at least every <laughs> uh, So we were we I were just say, discussing this. I'm morning. a huge fan of your too, by the way. Huge what was that? Huge fan. Love the I'm a huge fan of your cartoon. Absolutely love it. Oh, you're cutting in and out a little bit. Yeah, you're cutting in a little bit. Okay, I'm Joey. 
Joey will be back. <laughs> Joey and his internet are arguing with each other tonight. But he and his internet have a love hate relationship. <laughs> yeah, he was saying he was a huge fan of your cartoon. Yeah, I think he speaks one. Well. I think the newest one that's out. Well, was on DC one, Universe like now one. on HBO. I like the newest one, especially when she converses with herself. Yes. That being well, well, she's kind of like, like her psychosis is like that. Well, no, you've got the Harley Quinn heart. She's not schizophrenic. She doesn't hear voices. She doesn't talk to herself. She's still got the doctor in the back of her head that knows she's crazy. Mm -hmm. And I, I like that they include that very intelligent side of her. They don't just completely ignore it. Much yeah. like they did in the 2004 The Batman, which most of us pretend didn't happen. <laughs> The Riddler was someone's weird emo goth cousin. The Joker was wearing a straight jacket and had square teeth, and they made Harley Quinn like a like a fake psychiatrist on a TV show. Yeah, see, I kind of I don't hate it as much as other people. I know it has its things that are wrong with it, but I actually really enjoyed that cartoon I, and especially the style. Uh, of it. I really liked the Penguin, and mm -hmm. I really. I liked Bruce Wayne. I loved the compassionate Bruce Wayne. Oh, yeah. Who still was just like, I don't know what the shit I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it creates for an honest superhero. Oh, yeah. Same. But, yeah, I, I, I was thinking along the same path. Mm -hmm. Like, his... I loved I loved Harley because she was extremely vulnerable. She was a, she was a, a flawed character and almost unfinished sometimes. But and, and and so when they fill in the blanks with these you know huge episodes that would you know they they all of a sudden it almost like they would uh, remember you know that that she was there or whatever in in the comic book or in in the series. Yeah, I always thought that was the coolest when they'd come back to people like that and and and. Harley was uh Harley was a big one. she was always really committed as well, a character. I'll, I'll well, be do real you with know you. Why she was created? Oh, you were saying? No, I was gonna say I, I, what I loved about Harley Quinn is the same thing I loved about Jessica Rabbit. They were both tens and they were dating threes that laughed a lot, so it made me think I had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Amazing. oh my god. I'm not wrong. Think about it. <laughs> Harley Quinn, if she'd have cleaned herself up and became like a boring housewife, she could have been with Bruce Wayne. She'd have been the wife to a billionaire. She would have been like Bezos's chick. She could have got her half a bill and scooted, but she didn't. Oh. She stayed with Mr. J. Same thing with Jessica Rabbit. She's like, yo, the head of Maroon Studios wants to be with me. He's a scrub, but my husband's funny. That's classy. I dig that. Here's the yeah. thing. I think Jessica Rabbit is asexual because she's ne she is never – sexual unless she's trying to get something other have people you, just treat her like she is have you not seen her play patty cake she gets the job done <laughs> <laughs> remember she, she had to pose for those photos that yeah i can't you're not wrong no and, 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 like, Quinn. harley has <laughs> stockholm syndrome and no one can convince me otherwise no oh, i agree with you yeah no she does well, she is technically a Disney film, so I mean, there's going to be issues. Let's face it. You know, I like how we went from talking about Halloween candy to disorders of cartoon characters, and that's why I love <laughs> doing this show. You are now listening to Back Talk with Bauer. <laughs> <laughs> do you know why they created Harley's character? We, I do not. Um, Tim, no, uh, uh, sorry, Bruce. Tim had an obsession with the woman from uh, Days of Our Lives. <laughs> yes, but that's not why she was created. She was the inspiration for Harley, and she did voice the character. Uh, Harley's costume is actually based on a Harlequin costume that Arlene Sorkin wore in a dream sequence on Days of Our Lives. However, who remembers the animated series episode Joker's Favor? A little bit. Where but. they have the party for Commissioner Gordon and they wheel the cake in. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They glue that dude's hand to the doorknob, right? The entire reason Harley was created was to jump out of that cake. Huh. No way. Oh. And right before animation, they said, you know what would be funnier? If Joker jumped out of the cake. Oh, jeez. That's true. So Harley wheels the cake in. They had Joker jump out. And Harley was such a hit th throughout that entire episode that they just kept bringing her back. 
That's insane. Yeah, yeah her history is really uh, interesting and cool. We, I think we need to do a uh, do a episode. Not this episode, but do a, do a episode. If you want a Joker home. Harley episode, you got to bring Rolando on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I think it would be really cool to get into the history of Harley uh, for a future episode. Um, but like I said, told everybody when we started this show, we are full. Of, it's a room full of ADD people, so we will jump around <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, we were talking favorite candies, and I know everybody has a favorite candy, but I also know everybody has a least favorite candy when it comes candy to corn. Uh, candy corn, candy corn. <laughs> my wife loves candy corn and she i yes yeah, <laughs> i i don't know what's wrong with her i think she's mental uh for many other reasons but it, definitely the candy corn one so uh Here's the thing do you know why candy corn does not get wasted because they recycle it every year yes they recycle it every year <laughs> they go out they collect it out of the dumpsters they wash it and they put it back through the packaging machine. That's the, it's is it been like the same thing as the corn thirty-year shelf life. What? Does it Uh-oh. like a Twinkie? Does it have a thirty-year shelf life? It just never goes bad. Well, if it has a thirty-year shelf life, then it goes if bad you're after thirty mess years. Around, I'll bring you on camera. <laughs> That's fair. Math is math. Like you're not wrong. Sounds like fruit cakes. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> All right, so. so- question no it has an indefinite shelf life which makes it worse than twinkies <laughs> all right we got uh let's see rocky favorite or least favorite candy oh, oh. gosh ha- look at this look at this shit she just brought this in to my home <laughs> <laughs> to my studio. it's like okay. beetlejuice you said its name three times no. <laughs> get that out of here no, don't eat it upon me i'll vomit no, oh, thank you. Oh God, that is gross. Everybody's least, everybody's least favorite uh, candy is the uh, the candy corn. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that an even worse candy is that weird uh, peanut you thing. Took- that- oh yeah, peanuts. Not a fan. The corn circus peanuts are. Mm. I'm over it. I don't like it. I don't think it's funny. I don't want one. Um, also, peeps, not a, not a, oh my god, yes, yeah, <laughs> I'm over it. I've, I just, you know, I, I like, uh, I like simple, um, simple candies. I love a good Reese's cup in any form that includes a, um, uh, a, a pumpkin or, um, oh, oh, you know what I love is a good, uh, Christmas, um. A uh, kiss, a swirl kiss. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. The peppermint. Oh. See? Chocolate yeah. peppermint. No other way to go. Yeah. Apparently, Those I'm are missing cool. out. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're we're some professionals here. That's how I know you guys know the the truth. <laughs> now, have you? Do you um your Reese's? Do you put them in the freezer and then eat them? No, I do. I do. I do my um. I do my um. Uh, Hershey with almonds, I do those in the freezer because they'll most likely go on top of an ice cream if I'm feeling fat. Um, (laughs) I'm lactose intolerant, so if I'm going to treat myself to a Reese's cup, it's going to be two two only with some um, lactose-free chilled chilled milk. Not doing that hot milk thing. Can't do room temperature milk. I'll even put... I know that it's weird to put ice in milk, but I think it's weird not to have cold milk. Well, that's why you drink Fair it enough. out of the fridge. Yeah, and that, just yeah. let it sit I'm there gonna, like a fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. All right, uh, so John, do you have a a least favorite candy? Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. When he said peeps, I definitely. Don't like peeps that much. Um, Can I have the peeps? Yeah, that's more for Easter though. I mean, it's the whole marshmallows. I'm not a big fan of marshmallows in general, but at the start lighting them on fire first. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that's See, the thing. That's the thing, right? That might be where I'm making the mistake. Is like, are they like super flammable? You eat it while it's on fire, though. You gotta like real quick and just. Ah, and... <laughs> so, well, I'm not a magician, Josh. No, that I believe in you. I believe you can do it. Listen, if humans can light out like alcoholic shots on fire and take shots that are on fire, 
You can eat a flame. And I'm sure well. you have done a fiery <laughs> shot there. Uh, I have done a shot on fire too many times mm -hmm. to uh, not have a candy that's like that. Yeah. No. Uh, God damn it. Harley, <laughs> don't, stop making sense. No. <laughs> I need to ask of you. Right like, Harley, if I'm making sense to you, you might need a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's I, I think I'm too in the mood for Halloween right now, and I'm very – in the October themed uh, uh, sort of thing, and I, 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 am, I can't indulge too much. Otherwise, I'll get sucked into the universe, and then I'm uh, otherwise I, there. I need to know Josh's favorite candy, and I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and go out on a limb there. I think is it something with almonds, or maybe even a Whoppers guy. <laughs> of my favorite candy or least favorite candy? Oh, favorite. we do a least favorite candy still. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if I have a least favorite. I, I hate... Um, Based on your reaction yeah. earlier, I'm assuming one of them is candy corn. Yeah, candy corn I'm not a fan of. I, I, I Really anything like any candy bars that have either almonds or nuts in it, I can't stand that crap. I, I hate it. I hate it. I, I like the simple chocolate or like the, the... like I like Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Those ones are great. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But like anything with nuts, peanuts, or anything like that, I'm just not a fan of it. No. So I'll no. enjoy no An aristocrat. <laughs> uh, Evan brings up a good point in the chat. If uh, Harley starts making sense, you need to stop drinking. Or drink more. <laughs> I, I'm going to continue to indulge and see if I can get out of this trap that I'm in. <laughs> so, Do Joey, you got a <laughs> you got a least favorite candy there, Joey? Oh, Joey. Uh -oh. Sounds off. Joey, we can't hear you. <clears throat> oh, so he can hear us. Charleston Chew, Joey. Now we're playing uh, charades. <laughs> How many <laughs> words is it, Joey? Am I back? <laughs> you yeah. are back now. There we are. Yeah. Oh, getting a delay. So proud of you. You are trying so hard. <laughs> no, I was trying to say, uh, Evan in the chat room nailed. Is everyone just ignoring the weird pumpkin shaped candy corn? Possibly the only thing worse than candy corn is a shittier version of candy corn that's fatter and gross that has a worse texture. Oh, yeah. Remember? That, ooh. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it because I read candy corn and I was out. Yeah. It's, it's those things. Where there are people that are so passionate about their candy. I'm always afraid to S all over it because it's like, like candy corn is like couples that wear matching shirts to Disney. We all hate you, but we have to be nice about it in case this is your thing. That's how I feel about candy corn. Yeah. Uh, like, candy corn, you know, like, like candy corn sucks, but that one person that's like, I look forward to it every year because me and my wife eat it. And I'm like, oh, now I feel like a dick. So I'm just like, sure, candy corn, whatever. Give me two. You know, See, so, I'm a dick. Take your candy corn and, and throw it down the dumpster. You are a gross <laughs> couple. Take your shitty shirts, light them on fire, and don't talk to me anymore. And you know what? You find, you'll find that candy corn. They will wash it off, and you can buy it again next year. <laughs> Question. Has Oreo done a candy corn yet? I love that accent. Googling I it hope now. not. I'm surprised they haven't. Yeah, they've done everything else. <laughs> Uh, apparently, we have uh, we have attacked Evan. He feels attacked about the Disney <laughs> statement. Uh, sorry, we're not Evan. sorry, Evan. Are you and your wife? Wait, 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 wait. People. Evan, cool. Evan, cool do you uh, do you purposely wear the same outfit as your wife? <laughs> <laughs> that looks gross. That, that's an abomination to Oreos. <laughs> What's a gummy shebang, Joe? Oh, oh fuck. I don't know. It's oh my so gosh, dirty. Nick, he nailed it. Do you remember those wax-filled things that you would chew on for 15 seconds and then be mad at yourself for? They're like little wax what? bottles full of Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah, those, oh. I didn't like those. And Boys are us gum? Are and then when you were around? done, you just had a ball full of wax in your mouth that you couldn't turn into a bubble gum ball and you'd spit it out in somewhere and the dog would eat it and then you'd feel bad because you knew you were going to have to clean that up later. <laughs> or that oh. dog's dead. That's what the worst. Really, I'm missing out on what I'm glad I am. <laughs> uh -oh. Being Canadian, I, 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 we've had, we have some weird candies as well, but um, no. Jelly beans is, uh, for me, I hate oh, jelly yeah. beans. 
Yeah. Like, you're you're describing that wax thing. That's what jelly beans to me taste like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? With a weird grainy texture. <clears throat> now, are we talking the jelly beans that are basically gelatinized sugar shaped like a bean, or are we talking like jelly bellies? See, okay. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Um. There are. There are like the gummy jelly beans that I really like. The jelly. What about the birdie jelly box beans? Are the ones from Harry Potter, the ones that taste like dog ass and like vomit. Why would you? Okay, so jelly beans are shit in the begin with, and now you're gonna buy a box of shit things that could actually taste like shit. I uh, no, oh, I, I didn't know. What to in in Canada's defense, Avril Lavigne still puts out music, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Just gonna leave the that. Cruelest game, the cruelest game you can play with yourself is uh, the bamboozled game with yes! the jelly beans. With oh all my the god, why? <laughs> I've done the wheel here on my show and it was horrible. And the the worst part is is you convince yourself that you're not eating the throw up one and you <gasps> think that you're you go, Oh, well, best case scenario, I'm eating carpet. And it's it, <laughs> Like yeah, we I've done that. It's horrible. It doesn't work. Um, it's it's uh, we, you know they're like we're, the best case scenario is you're eating grass. I was it's actually perfect. Harley Quinn at a kid's birthday party. Oh damn! And they tried to trick me into playing that game. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> that's uh, that's and that and was it. when we learned that justifiable homicide is allowed at a kid's birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> they could always have she will not confirm nor deny that she's smart <laughs> look but i love what i love about the chat room is we go from bean boozled worst ever to jelly beans or divine blessings don't hate on the beans both points have merit be fair your listeners are the best man yeah i don't know where all these people are coming from these are new people so you guys must be bringing them in but thank you guys for popping in i greatly appreciate it That's, uh, nick is my brother-in-law he's cool as shit Oh, very cool. Here's what I think. Oh, God. Jelly beans in general, like if you get like good jelly beans, they can be fantastic. However, if you intentionally get ones that taste like shit, you <laughs> have brought this on yourself and you deserve every bean in that box. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. All right. So I think we have talked candy to death. Uh, I think we spent almost 30 minutes on candy, but it was it was quite enjoyable. And a little bit on homicide. A little bit on homicide. So, <laughs> Oh, we've got uh, John's sister in here, too. So uh, hello, John's Can sister. Tell us an embarrassing story about John. <laughs> I, I know a couple of embarrassing stories on another podcast about John. <laughs> On a, on a certain secret show. <laughs> yeah. Is my sister... I have one sister. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Is, Is my sister, sister in this? On? I don't know. It says John's sister here. In the chat, Stacy Farrell came and said, John's sister here. Oh, and that is my sister. That is definitely my sister. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now that we cleared that up. <laughs> well, welcome, Stacey. Thank you for popping in. <laughs> Not my sister. They'd be like, it's Rockalina Soka. I'd be like, nope. <laughs> oh, who the no. fuck is that broad? I have no idea who Rockalina Marie Soka is. No idea. <laughs> well, yeah. So I guess my sister is in here. Hey, hey, Stacy. Hi, sister. <laughs> All right. So uh, next Halloween themed question. And if you guys have, any, have anything Halloween themed questions, topics, anything like that, put them in the chats and we'll get to them because I only have so many. Uh, but you know, you, this one may take a half hour too. We don't know. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm going to Miss Quinn for this one first because I'm very curious. Uh, we all dressed up as kids, most of us. Uh, I don't know what uh, Canadians dress up as, but uh, Miss Quinn, what would have been your favorite? Because you dress up all the time now as a, <laughs> as a cosplayer. So now does not count. Um, but as a youngin, what was your favorite Halloween costume? I had to be a witch every single year. Oh, there you go. Every oh. single year, I had to be a witch. <laughs> Now, did you change it up at all? Was it like different oh, yeah. kind of witches, or I okay? I put a new costume together every year, but for some reason, I had to be a witch every single year, except for that one year I decided I was going to be a jack o' lantern, and I got really lazy, so I just glued triangles to a shirt. 
Interesting. Interesting. I definitely could see you uh, uh, pulling off the witch look, though. Uh, <laughs> I probably see. I mean, we're not going to look at the witch altar right over here. <laughs> Well, I was wondering, is it, is it because of, like, what was that awesome um, Halloween show with Bette Midler and... Um, Hocus Pocus? Hocus Pocus. Was it, was it anything because, like, that was the... For me, that was the best um, Halloween Oh, that movie's movie. amazing. I actually I never saw Hocus Pocus until I was about 19 or 20. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. But I do adore that movie. I keep telling myself I am going to do a Sarah Sanderson costume. The issue is that fabric is hand embroidered and custom dyed for that film, and the pattern was custom altered for that film for the Sarah Sanderson corset. And wow. my accuracy oriented ass is going, fuck that shit. <laughs> so I've been putting it off. Yeah. yeah. That movie's oh, amazing. <laughs> and, like, yeah, the detail that goes into it, too, is just as equally uh, incredible. No, I was just wondering. All right, Stacy, I have to know because uh, uh, Stacy says that she dressed up like a year, uh, a witch every year, except for one. Her mom made her dress as a crayon. I want to know what color what? crayon. <laughs> oh, yeah. DIY robots. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Uh, so Rocky, I'm sure you're you were uh, gonna dress as uh, one of the Sanderson sisters at one point. I'm sure that's your favorite costume, right? You know what? In, <laughs> in Florida, we had to. So it was always hot in October. So we well, what I did every year, every every year, is I would just cover myself in blood, and I would skateboard down the street like his okay. shirt right now, literally like his shirt right now. <laughs> He's keeping the tradition alive. I love it. So that sounds like it, a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's really hot in Florida, and there was no um it, it really zapped the fun out of a lot of holidays. There was no cold Christmas or um you know uh Thanksgiving or any of that. And mm -hmm. we, we spent that in um swim trunks and, and I remember specifically um Halloween. It was hot as hell, so you couldn't have um, a mask or a uh, thing on because right. you. I mean, you, you. So what we did is we what we talked about earlier. So I live in a very very poor part of the community. So what we would do is we would get our skateboards and our bikes, and we would go over to the rich neighborhoods, and we would try to get actual candy out of people. <laughs> we would just literally cover ourselves in blood, and we would just be like, "Well, we're." Uh, we we were involved in an accident on the way. Like, <laughs> there, was no, there was no like real. There was no like we couldn't get like a Hulk Hogan or anything like that. We just got a gallon of whatever, and then we would we would say we were zombies. The king size candy, and then not, we would. Oh, not, if you were lucky, not the half yeah. baby size Kit Kats. No, no, no thank lucky. you. No butter. The the little bite size Butterfingers. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no king size. <laughs> we're going for the big stuff. I, so I, if I, you're gonna try the big stuff, you might need to lube up first. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, gotcha. I know, Holly. <laughs> I try. God. Oh, man. Uh, Just remember, water-based. <clears throat> water-based. <laughs> Dear Lord. Uh, and that's why this is the uh -huh. adult show. Uh -huh. You were worried about me. I'm just going to touch the show. show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as soon as I saw her little picture pop up down here, I'm like, yeah, well, the show's going to even go to more to hell. But I love it. That's why I do this show. It's my job. It is. It's actually on her resume and everything. There I may be a little bit of blood on the resume, too. Just ignore that. It's fine. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> John, favorite uh, Halloween costume as a kid? No, I'm hoping it's Woody. Because uh, apparently no. Evan dressed up as Buzz Lightyear and uh, arrested a high schooler dressed as Woody. No, my, no, no. A lot of people used to tell me, like, well, recently, they'd be like, oh, I guess the very first purge, I look like the person that knocked on the door. And then some people oh. tell me, yeah, like, Dude. I get, people look, like, tell me I look like uh, Kid Rock uh, in his younger years. But okay. I used to always dress up as uh, Dracula or a vampire. I was very, okay. with, very with the fangs, um, you know, a cape 
or you know, uh, uh, living in the night. I I stay up all night half the time anyway. I want to suck your D. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. yeah, it was uh, it was definitely Dracula. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, it just made the most sense, and I you know enjoyed that the most and all of his uh, traits. <laughs> all right, uh, Joey, you got a favorite one? All of my Halloween costumes as a kid sucked. Like all of them <laughs> just sucked out loud because wow. my mom's like an amazing seamstress. So she would go these elaborate costumes that never I never wanted. It wasn't until I got into my 20s and I moved down to Florida that I started getting all about these cool costumes. And one was funny last year. See, I was going to bring this one up. You'll highlight Allison's comment. Hi, babe. Thank you for watching <laughs> from the living room. Does that one hit too close to home, Harley? <laughs> I mean, if you see Why? Jason Todd, I need you to help me get something back to him. <laughs> oh, uh, babe, would you, I have a vodka cranberry in the fridge. If you'll bring that into me real quick. Um, <laughs> side note: What happened? Is, so last year, um, I sold real estate in Florida for one of my many, many hats. And my boss, my broker, has this baller house, is it the and he invites hat? us all over for Halloween. Bat, yeah, bat, no, <laughs> he, he invites us over, and he goes. It's going to be a carnival theme, but dress however you want. Allison does it up, and she full-on flying Graysons with the sequin shorts and everything. And I'm like, I don't want to go as a, as a clown. She goes, what do you want? I literally bought a faux shark skin suit, shaved my head, and no joke. I went to the <laughs> oh, nice. nice! I literally walked around all night saying Mr. 305, Dale. That was the only thing I said all night long. <laughs> but my favorite costume was back when I worked at the Hard Rock. You could come as anything you want. And because the Hard Rock was founded in the UK, it was British roots. My favorite English actor of all time, Sasha Baron Cohen. I went as Ali G. It's tough to see. Oh, there you go. Dude. Nice. And all, and this is what, this is how I know that society is dated. All night long, I walked around quoting Ali G. And everybody who saw me kept going, are you AJ from the Backstreet Boys? I was like, done. Done, done. I, oh. I forget it. Why do I try? Why do I try? Yeah. No, get the fuck out of my face. What's yep. up, Patricio? Good to see you, sir, with the side <laughs> of chaos and uh, uh, the Orlando shit show. Good to see you, sir. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, so uh, let's see. Willow, you got a favorite Halloween costume? Well, currently, right now, it's Elvira. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Warrior it's it's uh, definitely one of my most uh, uh, requested outfit now when it comes to Comic Con. <laughs> Go um, on. I wonder why. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Hmm. My, I, I I think it has something to do with the bras. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Um, but anyway, I remember. Uh, I remember the really bad. Uh, costumes in the 80s um, for children. They were like garbage can, uh, garbage bags with like really cheesy masks that you can barely see out of. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Try, trying to. Hi, Allison. <laughs> the guys say hi. <laughs> trying to dress I'm sorry. Up as a the, Barbie the, doll. the persons. The guys in the group. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Mm. Uh, a refill in about five minutes. <laughs> Damn, I got a can. I got shitty candy corn thrown at me, and evil looks. He's getting drink delivered to him. I'm doing something wrong over here. Oh no! I mean, I'm kind of the housewife for my poly group here. <laughs> no, it's like I, I wouldn't start drinking normally. I try to wait until like nine to start really heavy drinking. But I got to get up at four tomorrow because the Magic Kingdom opens up at nine, which means it really opens at eight, which means I got to be there at seven. So I got to be in the car at six fifteen. I got to get up at four, and I need to. I got to lift for two hours. You have your drinking so, schedule. So you need an hour it. to cry in the car before you start work. <laughs> oh. You understand me? You truly get me, child. You truly get me. It's I'm just. It was like it, it's bad when the most requested character in the kingdom is just a white woman with short hair named Karen. That's what you go to see. 
<laughs> it's like it's like people of Walmart.com. You can't look away. The minute she says, let me talk to your manager, you just grab a beer and watch the world burn. <laughs> a pleasurable train wreck. <laughs> what the I hell is Starbucks that? So I feel your pain. <laughs> oh, Evan, you poor child. You have to be at Hollywood Studios at open tomorrow, bro. You better get there yesterday. Like literally, you should be in your car now to be there for Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Nope. So uh, Willow was talking um, like creepy costumes of of uh, old. <laughs> have you guys seen like the really old costumes, like in a early twenties oh. and stuff? Those are fucking Easter disturbing. Nineteen twenties. You understand why kids were afraid. Oh my god! Like none of like even the like ones that are supposed to be slightly nicer are terrifying as shit. Yep. Oh man! Well, yeah. Dude, remember the original Nosferatu? It's basically mm -hmm. Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins with a bigger nose. <laughs> <laughs> like that's scary. They found a shade of white, whiter than white. <laughs> put it on dude, big nose and ears. The Nosferatu <laughs> is a freaking brilliant breed of vampire yes it was insane but man who's your favorite vampire can we talk about that not to not yeah. to bring no, it up you're good. Your favorite vampire? Your topic um it really depends on what i'm in the mood for sometimes i'm gonna go a little more Anne rice if i'm right if i want mood. something that's a, basically a the vampire masquerade toreador a very pretty predator i really enjoy the lost boys that's a very fun vampire um, Mine's Edward. <laughs> now, to be fair, though, if you're looking at power sets alone, the Twilight vampires are up there for power sets. Very true, but you way down there for glittering. Is Batman a a vampire? Like, I mean, is he was a vampire at one point. Um, Batman, gods among us. Yes, he's a vampire. See? Oh yeah, that was good. I'm, that was a really good series. I'm, I'm the most non nerdy person here. I know the least of any of you. <laughs> that was just a question. But on that note, I have to get to the next panel with the Gotham Underground. Uh, well, thank you for Aww. popping in, Miss Quinn. It was right. good to see you. John, you, if you want to talk vampires with me, because I know you mentioned that Dracula was kind of your go-to. Hey, and the nighttime is my life. Yeah, I'm nocturnal. Shoot me a message if you want. I am actually one of the... Founding, well, not founding members, but one of the first members of Father Sebastian's Long Black Veil event, as well as a bigger member in the vampire subculture. Right on, without the bright on. I'm down. Josh. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I like that. You got you. Josh. Huge. Yes. Have him send me a friend request. I will. I'll get you guys connected. Yeah. <laughs> don't remember. Use, I mean, no, don't forget. Or don't remember if you feel like having a bad tomorrow. Use lube. <laughs> That's remembering. And there she goes. Bye, Miss Quinn. I love Bye. it. Nice meeting you. That was uh, the amazing uh, Harley Quinn. Uh, you can find her at Harley Quinn Art Cosplay. And th damn it, I always mess it up. You can find her on things. And if you're looking oh. to, to meet her, yes, she is. Uh, she's she's an awesome cosplayer. And she is my wife and I legit. She's straight up vampire. Like every time we see her, she has her fangs in. She's all black. Uh, I don't know if she owns regular colored clothes. Uh, so, yeah, she is a straight up vampire. But she's the awesome host of HarleyCon. And thank you for popping in and letting me, uh, you know, create this mess of a show on uh, HarleyCon. No, yeah, and vampire is a blast, my, bro. Uh, Thank you for putting it together. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, dude, I yeah. <laughs> none of this would be going on without you, like getting us all together and trying to figure out, you know, <laughs> somewhat having a cordial conversation and trying to move the topics along and doing the best. Right. Thing. Yeah, I do like the uh, the vampire discussion though, because actually my favorite vampires, and I don't know why, probably just because I love the show so much, and they're kind of easy to kill is Buffy the Vampire Slayer Vampires. Mm. Because no. like, oh, yeah. they're not strong. Okay. Like, if you're you're fighting them. I guess the one one and fighting vampire. one are two different things. So if you're fighting one, I would go, I would want to go against uh, Buffy uh, the Vampire okay. Slayer. One. Oh, yeah. If, if we're yeah. going to go Buffy the Vampire Slayer, let's do the movie and Paul Rubens as the as one of the villains. Like, yeah. he, uh, he, was an, he was a great villain in that movie. I'm gonna go with Pete Wentz from Fallout Boy and the 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 video the 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you're fighting them, I would rather have them be Buffy the Vampire, like Slayer vampires. They're, those are, I feel like, are a little easier to get. Like Van Helsing, or like, I don't know, like there's some other vampires that are a lot more ridiculous to kill, or like, um, what's the one? True Blood? True Blood? That shit is, yeah. That's a little harder yeah. to, uh, but track can we down. talk about the ultimate, the Daywalker? What about Blade? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Wesley effing yeah. Snipes, are you kidding me? He was yeah. a cross-dresser in Tu Wong Fu. He told us that white man can jump. And then he friended Ryan Reynolds on a trinity of movies that I'm down. Like, that's rad. Yeah. And he still owes the, doesn't he owe the IRS like 7 million? He's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh man, I am uh, I am excited for the. Um, speaking of Blade, yeah, you know, we can go into a little bit of nerdiness. Uh, Blade is coming back to mo- uh, it, are you doing movie or that one's going to be a movie, right? For the MCU. No, awesome. they're actually rebooting Blade. It's not oh, even going to be a. Yeah, it's going to. He's going to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and they recasted him and everything. Uh, who the hell is, is it, it going to be like a Disney Plus PG Blade that I have to take an S all over? Or are they I doubt about that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a movie, and I'm pretty sure I I, I know it's going to be higher up. I don't know if they're going full rated R, um, because I think that's only certain movies that will be doing that. They should. They really, <laughs> really should. The Wolverine, or, yeah. Deadpool, Blade. That better be a trinity of R-rated movies that make it into the cinematic universe, because they're killing me with this PG. Crap. <laughs> Do you find that that friggin' what was that? The Avengers movie was supposed to be PG, but because they let Robert Downey Jr., like 55% of his lines are all improv. That one scene where he zaps the Hulk and he goes, How do you stay calm? I don't get it. Yoga, calisthenics, huge bag of weed. That read, when he said huge bag of weed, that made the movie a PG 13. If not for that reference, they probably could have got a PG rating. Damn. Really? Yeah. That dude, wow. Hollywood balls. <laughs> wow, that's yes. Yeah, even yeah. even with Loki calling someone um, mewling quim, <laughs> <laughs> that is my What's favorite line. By the way, my wife uses that randomly on me every so often. She's like, "You mewling quim." I'm like, "Where did that come from?" <laughs> the sensitivity—it's too much sometimes. Agreed. But we were raised in a different time. time. I think. You guys are all younger than me, but I was raised in a different time. You know what I'm saying? We don't put up with that that ish. Oh, I'm no. Gonna say this no. Word. I grew up watching uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Commando, and Godfather, and all that shit. So, yeah. And that's why I'm the wonderful man I am today. <laughs> all that ish, Josh. All that ish. <laughs> we call the Godfather a documentary. Exactly. So. Um, so, let's Comment get back to, to Halloween, because, again, 80 80- Halloween, of course. Um, so... I, we were kind of talking movies, so I want to know if you were thrown into a horror movie, what stereotypical uh, horror movie character would you be? And we're going with Willow first. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll sacrifice myself. I'll I'll be the. Please don't kill me. Please, oh God, please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So I, I feel like uh, John would be the um, the the stoner guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one that tries to tell everybody it's cool. It's cool, guys. We're good. We we got this. And, and we do not. Type. And we never got this. Yeah. <laughs> tell us that we were good. Oh man, uh, Rocky. How about you? Uh, well, I mean, I think I'd be the um. What was the guy in Scary Movie? Who lived on campus? The the um, he's like kind of the rednecky um, piece cool. of shit guy who ended up actually killing everybody. Oh, I think I'd be you that guy. Killer. Yeah, I think I'd be the killer. But I think I'd be the the stoner, the killer, the drunk, the weird guy that came through the window. I think I'd be like all the guys. <laughs> so we could just make a whole movie with just Rocky. Yeah, I think I could just, me and a hot like stick, 
and uh, you know, a bag of weed, and I, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much. <laughs> I've dead. learned never walk down a dark alley with Rocky. Okay, cool. The, the guy who for, gets Here's so stoned he forgets he's moment. the killer. <laughs> <laughs> Why hasn't that been a movie yet? I do want to see. Uh, speaking of uh, like kind of newer twist on movies, um, have you guys seen the one where it's like Freaky Friday, but the girl gets switched with a serial killer? That's Vince Vaughn. Oh, oh. What? Yes, no, but dude, I'm terrible. on board. They finally took the body swap thing and did something original with it. Like, if I have to see one more mother daughter swap and then they spend two and a half <laughs> Disney hours of trying to get back to normal, it's What's been done it like 500 times and they still make a fortune with those damn things. Do you, do you know what it's called or anything? Uh, not off the top of my head. I'll, I'll send, I'll look it up later and send you the, uh, the stuff. That, I want to see. It. I wanna see. <laughs> and I think that one might be coming straight to like, um, download video or whatever we're calling it now but yeah and then like in in the trailer because you know the vince vaughn's a straight up serial killer so he, and then he switches bodies with this young girl like young high school girl so the serial killer is so insane and, and so you know serial killer like this girl pulls it off well she plays real creepy but like she tries to act normal so she can get to everybody and kill everyone and she's killing all the girl's friends yeah, uh, yeah, it, it looks uh, really it's interesting odd, too. It's yeah. actually just it's called God. Freaky. It's just called Freaky. Okay, Freaky God 2020 wow. horror comedy, one hour 41 minutes. Wow, yeah, okay, that's exciting. Dude. Or uh, November 13th, it comes out. This Why is a pretty rad one, dude. Alan Ruck's in it, dude. Bueller, Bueller, I can't <laughs> wait. Alan Ruck's in it. Oh, I'm down. I just made Joey's day. <laughs> the month of October. He's going to be the dad this time that drives an expensive car. I'm telling you, it's going to come full circle. It's one of my favorite movies. Oh, I hope they do that. This is the shit we need to know Which, coming into October. Back to your, <laughs> back to your original question. Yes. I'm the guy in the horror movie that people love to hate. I continuously break the fourth wall. And when people are like, I'm going into the kitchen to get something to drink. I go, dude, rule number three, never say I'll be right back because you'll never be right back. And that guy goes, I'll be right back. And then he goes in the kitchen and he dies. And I'm like, dude, I told you. And crying and running. I'm like, no, you need to understand before we all leave to succeed, I was right. Until you acknowledge I am right, we're not allowed to live. So acknowledge it and then we can move on because I broke the fourth wall for a reason because there's another dude just like me watching this who said, that's my guy. That's my guy. I'm <laughs> telling you. We were break that you know, fourth we're wall. The office about, in a horror movie. Talking about rules and, and movies and like even some of the cheesiness in movies. So we uh HWWS Web TV started a uh, watch along series with old movies and we just did one and we did we did it Saturday night and we watched uh, City of the Dead from like the nineteen sixty. I think it was actually nineteen sixty it came out. And I had a heyday of just picking on all the like, which is now the cheesy. Back then, yeah. it was really scary. But now, like, the, the main girl you start following, you're just, like, watching and going, the only thing you are missing is writing, please kill me on my shirt, <laughs> on, on your shirt. That, like, everything else, she just, she goes into the deep, dark uh, space, uh, you know, she goes and talks to certain people she shouldn't talk to and does this and that. And you're like, just, you need a neon sign glowing over top of you. Kill this bitch. <laughs> Oh my god! But it was fun because we're like we're, How about we're the, sitting there trying. Oh, go ahead, Joey. Sorry, we're on a delay, and I apologize that I I don't mean oh, to good. cut you off. It comes in late. I'm so sorry. It was no, you're say, fine. In, in your it's like you're saying the Geico commercial, the guy with the chainsaw, and they're running through the field, and they go, "Where should we go? Do we go to the house? <laughs> no, we should hide behind the chainsaws." And they're like, "But there's a running car over there. That's not safe. Let's hide behind the chainsaws." I'm like, "That's yeah. every '80s horror movie that I ever." Loved. And then yeah. like the bad guy standing behind them, like so, uh, sanding <laughs> down the chest. <laughs> Oh man. Um, so let's see what else I got here. Um, oh, okay. Here's a good one. Um, do you guys want to go another 30 minutes or so? Sure. Yeah. I'm down. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, uh, we're, we're speaking to movies, freaking Halloween movies, and it can be horror movies. It can be nicer ones. We could talk like this. Why are we beating a moose with a hockey stick? <laughs> Which is that? That might be a Canadian way of talking about jerking off. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, yeah, wait, like wait, some, wait, 
some. If a girl from Canada Canadian says, "Hey, you beating that moose with a hockey stick," what does that mean? I wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> And that's where we get to the R portion of the show. Um, there we go. We have to get there at some point. Uh, that's what she said, too. Anyways, um, so what is your go-to Halloween movie? Um, who haven't we started first with? Who wants to go first on this one? I think we started with me earlier, but I'll probably get the lamest answer. Go uh, for it. I'm going to go with um, the, the the Night Before Christmas. I really love it. My My chick loves it. My daughter loves it the whole family like that's our thing there you go there you go like half christmas half uh halloween yeah it's like it's like part of both that's actually a pretty good one i i really like the saw series okay oh series of romantic comedies (laughs) (laughs) it's a little psychological and i like that uh you know it's it, it it's it's gory at the you know because I kind of like the gore aspect a lot uh for for Halloween and then this is why you want to know why I beat this motherfucker with a stick is because he's always <laughs> in my shot <laughs> that poor Christmas movie but this saw movie uh ideally <laughs> I kind of want to call this episode now uh <laughs> that time we beat the moose with a hockey stick. <laughs> You think iTunes will let me get away with that? Sponsored by PETA. <laughs> Sponsored by PETA. Albino movie. Oh, here's a, here's a good classic that I absolutely love. Uh, and my wife and I watch it every year. Hocus Pocus. Uh, I love that film. Badass one, yeah. That's uh, Vet Midler, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And Sarah Jessica Parker, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one. For everybody that thinks that Sarah Jessica Parker is like not sexy... I would like you to revisit Hocus Pocus, and let's let's just go ahead and just there she's sexy. Afterwards, like down, like she loses something. I don't know where it goes, but like I I love her in Hocus Pocus. She's gorgeous in Hocus Pocus. But yeah, yeah on a, I don't know. On a very fun side note, uh, to f- come back to Disney, every yeah. year at the very or I'm sorry, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Park, the Sanders sisters do the show in front of the castle and it's tremendous yeah. and we always laugh because my I, I know he's not watching right now my buddy adam um i won't say her name because of she's friends uh she's friends with sarah jessica parker's uh character and she he slays it she absolutely nice. slays it they get to sing all the music from the movie up there and it's always the it's like they're so cool i love whenever that's that's my favorite part of that movie is that it's staying power we can go to the, these and, you know, we can, we, we go to the Magic Kingdom and Halloween still lives. And unfortunately, not this year, but Halloween Horror Nights. You know what I mean? Halloween is, I take Halloween over Christmas and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> that is how my wife is. Um, yeah, we're my, my, I'm more of a Christmas guy because uh, my birthday is three days before Christmas. So like that whole month is kind of like celebrating the holiday and my birthday. So, like, I'm more of that, but um, I've gotten more into decorating in Halloween uh, since I've married my wife because uh, she was getting mad that we had more, way more uh, Christmas decorations than Halloween ones. Uh, do we uh, need a medic? <laughs> did you hit him in the eye? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Just... Rocky's uh, down. <laughs> Man down. Man so down. If you're hearing this in the if you're somehow you just listening to the audio version of this, Back Talk with Friends is really a good one to go and check out the uh, video version either on HWWS Web TV YouTube channel. Oh my god! It doesn't <laughs> help that he has like blood on his shirt for Halloween, fun. <laughs> and then like I can't tell if it's real blood that's spilling or what's going on. But yeah, either catch that on the, the Facebook Watch page. Or the uh, YouTube you, channel, because I, you, I will go back and watch that later, because I want to see you get cracked. Because <laughs> I missed it. I was, I was paying attention to other things. I was I'm supposed to be the one that's Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, I was trying to be careful. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to be careful as I'm swinging like hell for the moose. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Joey, what do you got a uh, favorite Christmas or Christmas movie? We're jumping holidays. Uh, do you have a favorite Halloween movie or a go-to one? <laughs> absolutely first off next time we do this i'm actually going to firewire my thing into the actual router box so the wi-fi doesn't keep screwing up because 
run a huge delay and I don't want to ruin your awesome show. Um, second off, you're good, man. You Halloween sound good. Movies, Halloween movies are like, like with Christmas movies, it's all about Christmas. So for a movie that is Halloween themed, it's tough, but I really like Interview with a Vampire and I feel like such a basic white mm. guy for saying it, but I really love Interview with a Vampire because I feel like the novel was so popular and it overshadows the movie. But if you look at that movie, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Christian freaking Slater, who that's the only thing better for him than his voice on Archer as his voice. Like he's the same dude in that movie <laughs> that he's in, the, in the cartoon Archer. Antonio Banderas, Chris, everybody in that movie was an A-list celebrity or became one. Yeah. And and the thing is, is I don't like to read books. They're hard. There's words in them. Unless they're comic books, I could give an F. So exactly. as much as I love, I don't need 32 pages about how crimson red the GD curtains were. I don't need that. I look at them. Hey, it's a curtain. Holy shit, I just saved you 31 boring pages of reading. Just get to the part where somebody bites somebody and there's a vampire. You know what I mean? Like, I want, I want a Fast and the Furious movie that's a vampire movie. I want Vin Diesel as a I'm vampire biting latin chicks in a club turning them into into other vampires it's going to be phenomenal the, the fast and the and the vampirist i don't give a shit i'm not a well they're I'm going to space in nine so maybe in 10 they can start fighting uh vampires is that are you being funny because if you're funny that's funny i uh, know i'm pretty sure i've heard some reports and uh uh what's the the girl that um plays vin diesel's wife girlfriend whatever i think Leah, she said, or, um, what's her name letty yeah, I think she said that there there is talks to go into space in the huh. next next film, the one that's are you, being made. Are you a betting man? Uh, <laughs> depending on how much. Nothing good Here, has here's come what... with a sequel going into space. Jason goes. Uh, Jason. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to run for Jason in yeah. space, is hilarious. <laughs> what, what's the what's the over under on how many times they say family in that movie? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because in the light, I think it's 11. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I'm lot. actually interested. Again, we're pivoting a bit, but I'm actually interested. I love them. I don't care. They're they're cheesy and insane, and they do not have a reality to them. They, there's no physics. There's no nothing. They're just good action movies to watch. They will be taking um, the Tesla truck. <laughs> that's that, that, that's in the top 10 comments for the entire conversation well done there you go. they're gonna um, have, dude elon musk makes a cameo are you kidding me that'd be oh hilarious. that would be funny as hell but i'm actually interested to see the next one because they have john cena as the bad guy and i just want to see how he does as a bad guy um dude. and especially him and you got because like Vin Diesel's an okay actor. John Cena's an okay actor. So I just kind of want to see what they do together. <laughs> <laughs> do you, I mean, we might get a killer fight scene with Cena and The Rock. I mean, that's kind of a throwback to the early millennium, late 90s. Yeah, early millennium. That if cool. he's in that one, because technically him and Vin, Vin Diesel had a falling out when him and uh, Statham did their side project. Oh. So I don't, I don't know if he's back in with them. I mean, I have all the movies on Blu-ray. I have about 35% of everything from the gift shop of that ride. It's my favorite Universal franchise. I'm not afraid to say it. I love those movies because I'm a cheesy guy. I like to wreck cars. I mean, I like to see cars wreck. Like, it's cool. <laughs> it's a There's a difference. There is a difference. Oh, oh. they died. <laughs> Rest in peace, Funny to Farming. What's the point? <laughs> yeah, the moose had enough, and he, he took their uh, Wi-Fi privileges away. So uh, as we wait for them to come back, Willow, do you did we do your favorite uh, Halloween uh, movie? No. Uh, I'm a huge zombie fan. I, so basically uh, any movie that has to deal with zombies. Um, but I grew up uh, in Pittsburgh. I was there. Oh. For, I remember where they filmed The Dawn of the Dead. You can oh, go yeah. through it. It's a good film. Like. Well, and one of the cool things is, Kevin, are you a Kevin Smith fan at all? Kevin Smith and Absolutely. Jason? Absolutely. So in the movie, Zach and Mary make a porno, that one that he kind of joked about. He filmed it in Pittsburgh, in Monroeville, as a tribute to Romero and the Dawn of the Dead film. And that's why the minor league hockey team is called the Monroeville Zombies. It's a tribute to one of his favorite oh. movies. So a little bit of a fun fact for you, a little side history. Damn, oh, that's, that's cool. awesome. Um, um, but yeah, no, I, I love, uh, I love, uh, night of the living dead. Uh, the original, I, I isn't that the one it. that, uh, film freaks is watching not yeah. the next weekend. In, I think it's the I 17th. So? Yeah. 
Yeah, because there's a different movie on the 24th that I may be watching. But yeah, the uh, Film Freaks uh, with Hanging with Web Show is going to be uh, watching. And you can actually watch on the screen. It'll be just like this. Uh, we'll be on little screens to the left. And then there's a big screen in the center playing the movie as you watch it. Uh, and we comment on it, make fun of it, and, and have all kinds Mystery of Mystery Science Theater style? Yeah. Yep. Oh, bro, I'm in. That I can't wait to watch you. You're going to kill it. Oh, cool. If you're down for uh, hopping on an episode, um, we're doing one on, well, we do one every Saturday, um, but I know they've got openings uh, almost every weekend. So if you want to get in on the mix, I will uh, get you oh, in. Bro, totally. Hang out with you, of course. We have a blast. You guys are the yeah, coolest. Yeah, I won't be a part of the zombie one because I am actually <laughs> utterly terrified of zombies. Um, I have terrible nightmares of them. I've gotten better since like zombies have come out so much and there's more and more so i'm not as bad as i was but yeah i've had i've had horrible nightmares with so involving how, them how are you with clowns like are you okay. those don't bother but me you no no you okay took mine clowns, i was but... i was saving it because harley was here and i didn't want to blow up her spot i am so terrified of clowns it's embarrassing mm. it is it it's i i was trying i had a three on my third birthday my parents got a clown and there's a video of me taking a wiffle ball bat to this clown and just scream crying and hitting him. Oh and have, we still have it on a VHS. To this day, I can't be in the same room as a clown. To the point where Allison, one of the girls I think she teaches with or knew from high school, her husband is one of the clowns at Universal Studios in Halloween Horror Nights. I saw him in makeup. When I see him out of makeup, I can't talk to him because I still picture him as a clown. Like it's, oh my, oh God. my God, it's bad. It's so bad. Like I saw him at Universal and he's like, oh, bro, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. So now if, since it's so bad, did Harley mess with you or is she not? No, because I still, you know, as you can tell by the thousands of horrible decisions about me, in my head, she's not a clown. She's okay. just, she's just a chick in a tight suit that carries a hammer. <laughs> and, okay. and the funny thing is, is how that would work. even when I see the Joker, I smile when I hear his voice because I think I'm Mark Hamill. Right. You know what I mean? Like he's my favorite Joker. The cartoon Joker is my favorite Joker of all time because I can't not think of Mark Hamill. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I mine mine is. Uh, my fear of zombies is a lot like that. Like um, I have told, cause like we will, we'll have discussions in our group and everything or with, uh, with uh, hanging with web show and uh, GW tried to make the joke. He's like, Oh, I'm going to get somebody to, you know, dress up and scare you. I'm like, if you do that, I will beat the hell out of them. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, this isn't a rational fear. This isn't like, Oh, you scare me. And I run away. I get scared and I hit things. And then oh, good to know. I just can't picture yeah. that that smiling face hitting anything. You're so damn kind. Yeah, it's, that's it, uh, that's the persona that's here. I'm a okay. huge asshole. All right, fair <laughs> no, I uh, you know you get those two. You, you, you know you yeah. you either run or you fight, and I'm a guy that fights. I don't run. That's why we don't go to my wife and I don't go to um, uh, haunted houses because if she's made me go to a couple. And she she loves them, but she like hides behind me. I don't get the process of it. So she hides behind me, so like they don't like get her. Yeah. And then I have to walk through with my hands in my pockets and hold them because Ooh, my automatic wow. reaction is the hit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've I've caught a few people here and there with a with a good punch. So uh, yeah, I, I told Garrett and that whole group of people, I'm like, don't ever do it because I will knock wow. out whoever goes and tries to do it. Because you know our group, we can. Yeah. We've got talented people that can do stuff. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> I, I. I won't wear zombie makeup. I appreciate that. I, I, I will. I, I was hoping to, but no. Now that I know that you have a fear of, I, I, I won't. Yeah. yeah no, it's. I'll, uh, I'll it's, come in. Well, and I'm not doing period. like. I like when you guys watch the the night uh, night of the living dead one. I'm not going to be a part of that one. I'm like, yeah, oh, okay. I'll, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll I'll stay in the background of that one. Um, because no, thank you. Because I, I don't need nightmares. I have enough trouble sleeping. <laughs> Um, um, it's the same way though, dude. I do the same thing you do. When I go to Halloween Horror Nights, it's it's like when I go to a theme park on my day off. I'm just there to make a YouTube video. So if I'm right. doing Halloween Horror Nights, I walk through the scare zones. I have I haven't been inside a haunted house in probably four years. 
I just go wow. and I drink at all the bars. I go to Finnegan's and I drink and I go to um, Duff Garden and I drink and I go to the little kiosk and I drink. And then I just, and I walk through the scare zones I'm to get video. A theme here. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of walking. Hint, hint. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely <laughs> a lot of walking. And there's a video that I did with my buddy Gene, who I won't say who he's friends with at Universal, but he's, he's a voice actor, so we'll leave it at that. And a great guy. And he and I did a video recently where we reviewed Duff Gardens. But there's a video I did four years ago, or two years ago, of me and him screaming running through the Rob Zombie scare zone going, I need an adult, I need an adult, I need an adult, as I'm being chased by a chainsaw-wielding zombie. It was insane. Man. <laughs> so for those that are watching that may not be, have never been to Universal uh, during um, Hollywood Horror, or during um, Halloween, uh, and I, I've actually never went to uh, Halloween Horror Nights, but I've seen the setup and everything. Bro, and I'm taking you. Oh no. my gosh, so much fun. No, thank you. I I'll don't like stupid anything. drunk. It'll be fun. <laughs> He's trying to do all the things I don't like. <laughs> all right. Killing so, me. If I were to come to Florida and visit with you guys, when is the perfect time to come? It depends on what you want to do. If you do not like the heat, do not come between May and what? August, September ish? October. Uh, it's we're been good, pretty hot good from the middle of October until the middle of February. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, and, and especially like right now, you get into the hurricane time, so that's never fun. You, and, and then even if we're not having a hurricane, it uh, pour down rain at any moment. Yeah, the rain sucks. And the storms are getting worse too. That's the crazy thing. Like when I first moved down to Florida, you could tell time by the time it rained. Set your watch. Yep, yep. One o'clock every day. Oh. There's going to be a 15 minute yep. rain shower. Yep. yep. But now they are just they're they're all the time, and they're even worse. So I don't okay. you know global warming, whatever you want to call it, or just 2020. Um, but yeah, I definitely would suggest coming around the the winter time. Um, I'll be real with you, bro. As a guy who yeah. works in tourism, come January if you're going to come for a week, come January 2nd through the 9th because everybody just took their Christmas vacation and they haven't yet taken their pre-spring break vacation. Mm. Usually like January, the first, not the first weekend of January. Like let's say that the weekend falls on like the third or the fourth. If Monday is the fifth, you show up that Monday and go to the theme parks. They're so dead. They'll pay you. It's awesome. You can walk <laughs> around like you own the place. Okay. Yep. Good to know. Come down, crash yeah. at the hard rock hotel. If you stay at the Hard Rock Hotel, you get free uh, express pass. Grab a date. If not, I'll find you one. If not, we won't tell Josh's wife. And the four of us are going to rage. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I definitely I'm just kidding. Josh's like wife is very sweet, and I would never do that. I'm just joking. It's all for semantics. Please don't hate me. You're probably taller than me. <laughs> no, she's tiny. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I would definitely come in the uh, the beginning part of the year. And then that's also good, too, because, like, uh, there's not a ton of cons for, like, our group. So we should be yeah. able to see everybody. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it will be interesting when we get into next year. I'm hoping we can at least go uh, con-wise to Sci-Fi Bartow because uh, it's a, a street convention all outside. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to go to there. Garrett and I have been talking here and there for our group because, uh, you know, the whole group's kind of changed now and evolved over this COVID time. Uh, so it'll be really interesting once we are allowed to go out and play again because <laughs> we all have now shows now. We have a following. Uh, so it's going to get really interesting once we can go and cause trouble again. Yeah. We could totally all go as Mortal Kombat characters because of the masks. <laughs> like, yeah. If you want to go with Morpian, I go with Sub Zero. We get a reptile. We get a smoke. She can go as Melina. We need a whatever her katana, her sister. Dude, we can all katana, go as Mass. Yeah. We're COVID compliant. We look so cool. Are we all short? How tall are you? I'm five eight. I'm five 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 six. Perfect. So. Five seven. Look at us. We're like the world's most there awkward three students. This could work. I don't have any hair, so I could be curly. <laughs> i'm waiting to see if uh i think um the guys are having some 
uh, Wi-Fi issues. Uh, That's all right. Honestly, in, in their defense, it's getting to be about that time for me. I need to start. I need to get to the point where I get medicated, as in, like, I'm getting to the z stage of my life where I need to be passed out pretty oh, yeah. hard soon. So I understand. Oh, yeah. Harley's popping in again. Yeah, we got about 10 minutes left if oh. you're good with that, Joey. Perfect. I am good. good. Thank you so much. Hello, Miss Quinn. Oh, you're good. You better prove it. <laughs> That was uh, that was a quick little show. Was it only? I got them started. I got them up and running. Wow. I got the Zoom working. Gotcha. So I am not. I do not have my computer audio connected. I'm just letting them do their thing. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, we lost uh, Rocky and John. Um, they're having some Wi-Fi issues, but we got about nine minutes left, so we're kind of just chatting about random things and shenanigans and all that stuff. Uh, Halloween went out the window. As long as, as, long as we're keeping it random. <laughs> I'm dying to ask, and I apologize. I'm on a lag. I'll try and make this right. Ms. Quinn, okay. how do you feel about the new Harley Quinn cartoon that's on the DC Universe? I adore Are you it. A fan? I absolutely yes. love it. I it's, love it. I, it's, I love everything from the storyline. I think it's cool what they did with King Shark because that's definitely not his character. I think it's cool what they did. Her costume is tolerable. Can we admit that it is the hybrid of yours and Margot Robbie's? It's... I it's love- actually not. It's based in the new 52. Oh, never okay. mind. I digress yeah. and I apologize. I'm a big fan. Yeah, yeah I, I absolutely love it. I love how they've done all the characters. Batman's freaking hilarious in it. Yes. I love how he shoots. Gordon, bro? Are you kidding me? He's yeah. me. He drinks a lot and he can't figure stuff out. He's me. I'm so <laughs> pumped, but he has his hair. So he's almost me. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love the cartoon. I can't wait. Oh, there you go. I'm, I'm always going to be a fan of the original. Is that a uh, is that a voodoo doll of uh, the twin <laughs> down there? It's a Barbie doll. It's the, uh, like 10 years ago, Barbie released the DC lineup of uh, their dolls. And I'm just... I, I have okay, a, so... All right, so here's here. the thing. If Barbie could be any character in the DC universe, who do you think she would be the most? Oh, that's a good question. Because um, I'm I'm leaning towards Vicky Vale, and I know that makes me old, but I'm thinking yeah. original Batman because she yeah. is blonde. Who else could she be? Who is a blonde DC hero Supergirl. or villain? Supergirl. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Supergirl. yeah. It yeah. depends America. on what you're what you're looking at. In the original, Mostly animated, the, well, <laughs> in the original yeah. animated series, Catwoman was blonde, but in the comics, she has short black hair. Yeah, that's right. I actually Michelle like Pfeiffer. her with the short black hair. Michelle more. Pfeiffer, of course. No, not Michelle Pfeiffer. The original Batman the Animated Series. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like going all the way. I'm thinking like, wait, what do you mean Eartha Kitt? Are we going like like she was black? Wait. <laughs> I was like, I'm way off. Hold on. Series. Yeah. yeah. I always like the the short black haired version of Catwoman, especially the design that they used in the Arkham. Uh, Knights games. That's uh, what I mean. Game. Flying cat off of Arkham. Knight. Yes, and that's why I painted that one because I love that one. She's yeah. up on the main wall right now, though. I got uh, fairies now for Halloween. You're actually down there, though. Dude, that Tom and Dan know? piece you did is phenomenal. How did you know that I'm a bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Harley oh, Quinn for the win. Oh. But yeah, uh, oh, Stacy says uh, Batgirl. Oh, yeah. That would be a good one. All right. What's, what's the most obscure DC female that we can come up with that Barbie would do that the fans would love that the basic white women would hate? Like, what is a very Power obscure. Girl. Power Girl. You know what? Power Girl might have bigger assets than Barbie. <laughs> like, that might be the only female <laughs> DC character. If you're yeah, looking proportionately right? waist to tits, I think they're about the same. Yeah, because Barbie's got a tiny little but waist. But in order to achieve the waist to tits ratio that Barbie has, you, you need to have like your bottom two ribs removed. <laughs> I honestly think that Power Girl is the hold my beer to the tit game of Barbie. <laughs> Dude, Barbie she has like, oh, an interesting Power Girl was like, doo, doo, doo. That's the second time I've heard that sentence today. <laughs> well, the hold my beer part. The first okay. one. Okay. I was like, the, 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 
<laughs> the first one was my Mexican friend talking about, um, you know, she apologizes for all of Mexico because she's pretty sure that COVID happened because of Mexico. Because in there's, I cannot pronounce the city name. I am American. I can't pronounce <laughs> shit. America. Um, there is a city where there is such a high salt content in the earth that the people buried there are mummified. Mm -hmm. it's called El, it's called El Salto. <laughs> they have um, a museum with a ton of mummies in it. There is the body of a witch, so uh, the mummy of a witch, so powerful that the the church put locks, crosses, and a cage around the witch's mummy. In February, someone stole the locks and crosses off the witch's cage, as well as twenty-two mummies. Well, put we the figured goddamn out. mummies back. Put the mummies back. Yep. <laughs> uh, in the words of yet, Sublime, I don't practice Santeria. <laughs> but then again, and yet they keep and keep unearthing more, more, and more mummies and. Uh, Speaking of mummies, oh my gosh, he had like three really good Brendan Fraser mummies, and then out of nowhere, he's beating up Jet Li in the uh, the fourth <laughs> one. Like I've seen, I've seen the, the what are they called the the what was the movie that all of the old dudes were in that were awesome? Expendables. I, I've seen the Expendable movies. Fifty-year-old Jet Li could probably kick the s out of forty-year-old Brendan Fraser. In fact. 80-year-old Jet Li could probably kick the S out of 40-year-old Brendan Fraser, and this is coming from a guy who loved Encino Man. I'm a fan. Encino it's Man was great. Encino Man was brilliant. Encino oh, Man was yeah. amazing. What else? And you know what else Brendan Fraser was in that I loved? What was the movie with him and Alicia Silverstone? Holy shit, Batgirl, full circle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Last from the, the past. past. Oh, that's a good one. I haven't seen that in forever. Uh, such a good movie. Hmm. He's a great actor, and then it was just like he's like, I'm rich. I tag out. I'm good. Hey, he did bedazzled, and I think that's where he kind of went. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of yeah. like, look, I'll catch the check, but I won't watch the DVD, <laughs> and that was when we he officially quit the game. Oh man! All right, so we we got about three minutes left. Two minutes left now. So let's get everybody's plugs in. I'll do uh, uh, John and Rocky's uh, before I do mine. But Willow, you can go first. Where can they find you, stock you, all that good stuff? Uh, you can find me anywhere on uh, on social media. I'm uh, I'm the social media whore. <laughs> I'm gonna be a regular with whore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can find me in tw uh, on Twitch. Yeah, I'm I'm everywhere. <laughs> There you go. And make sure to follow her show, uh, Willow's Pillow Willow's Talk. Pillow Talk. Yes. I keep wanting to do it the other way around. I'll learn it one of these You days. know what? I I should probably just pillows, allow everybody to Pillow's take Willow Talk? <laughs> Willow Talk? Pillow's yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Pillow's Willow Talk. How does the Pillow Talk to Willow? I, mean, I drink, but how much weed do you smoke? And it's, it's legal in Canada. Pillow. God bless oh, it. We need to do an episode with a Muppet Pillow. <laughs> That should be your anniversary show. You get Why the are there so many songs about Willow? <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Joey, where can they find and follow you and uh, check out all your amazing music? I appreciate you, brother. Um, mm -hmm. I'm on all social media platforms. I am at the Joey Mazant. Uh, if you go to you, uh, YouTube, I want to thank you for that. Because after you and I talked, I had a few people reach out to me and say, thank you for the music. Uh, apparently, I did a song that was somebody's wedding song, and I got a lot of love. Um, oh, nice. What I do is I do two things. I do cover songs, and I do videos of me hanging out in the theme park, which are my big careers. I play music, and I go to theme parks. So go to YouTube.com slash C. Oh, it would be this way. Slash C. No, it was right. Slash C slash Joey Mazant. So basically, if you go to Google, type in YouTube Joey Mazant, you'll see me. Uh, it's just me doing cover songs from the 80s, and it's me in the theme parks showing you what's going on in Orlando, Florida. Yeah, he does an amazing channel, and uh, a plug for he and I real quick. Uh, October 27th, Joey and I are teaming up for like a three-hour-long show thing. Uh, we're going to do an out, we're going to do an early version of Back Talk with Bauer at six o'clock. We're going to talk about uh, Halloween stuff. We're also going to talk about like uh, Halloween icons of uh, movies and different kinds. 
So we'll be chatting with that for about an hour. We're going to take a little break. And then at uh, starting at like 7, 7, 10, uh, Joey's going to play some music and I am going to live paint and we're going to do a little And if show I may, to just yeah. show you love, brother, I'm, I appreciate it. It's going to go out to all of my followers on all my social media, which brings about 10,000 people. We're going to bring you in. And what, what we're going to do, this is the first time ever thing. We're going to set up a virtual tip jar. Um, if you can contribute to us, I'll be playing music. Josh will be painting a picture. It will be a one-off, meaning he's doing one. He will autograph it. It will have an AP on it, which for those of you who don't know, means artist proof, which means it is the one of one. It is the only one of its kind. That will then go for sale. You will be able to purchase that and hang it in your living room, and you will have an original Josh Bauer piece of art. And you'll have to listen to me for an hour and a half to a bunch of Sinatra covers. And I apologize, <laughs> and I thank you. But the point is, you're going to see some real talent from this guy, and you're going to see some drunken shenanigans from this guy. It's going to be fun, <laughs> and I want to thank you for coming out. And above all else, I want to thank you for supporting local music and supporting oh, yeah. local artists. Because during this pandemic, we all know how crucial that is. Uh, I'm sure Miss Willow, uh, yeah. Miss Quinn, though she's a badass, and she has a husband who's a joker, she still got bills. So thank you for just showing us all love because we do what we love. And it's nice that we can make a couple of bucks. Uh, Miss Quinn, please. Oh, yeah. Where can they uh, stalk you at, Miss Quinn? Uh, you can find me at Harlequin Arts Cosplay. That is really, really long. So if you <laughs> go to the hashtag Harlequin tag. Yep. Most of those streams and posts will be from my media. You can also find me on YouTube at The Haunted Harlequin, where I talk about a ton of paranormal and hauntings and things like that. I am also, on Tuesday, going to be doing a special episode of Back Talk with Bauer, mm -hmm. where we will cover things such as hauntings, the origins of Halloween, and the difference between tarot cards and oracle cards. Yeah, you have now, uh, when we do Tuesday's uh, episode, I am now going to refer to you as the Mick Foley of my podcast. Do you, yeah, I'm guessing you didn't follow, nice. he hasn't followed any wrestling or anything. I'm trying to show her a thing. It's not working. I'm so sorry, Miss Quinn. So, uh, friend request me and send me a screenshot. Yeah, I'll get everybody connected so everybody can see stuff. Turn Still can't see it. I, it's the glare. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to show you love and be like, check this out. Our pictures are rad, but it's like, it's glare. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I we're thank you so much, Joey. <laughs> But yeah, uh, so basically, the uh, Mick Foley is a character from WWE that uh, had had three different versions of himself, three different characters, and they were all beloved. So you are now the Mick Foley of my podcast. It is actually I've been on as Google, I've been on as Harley, and now I'll be on as Haunted Harlequin. Exactly, man. We can just Bro. keep going. We'll get you on as everybody, dude. <laughs> dude can I tell you honestly? Mm -hmm. So you want to talk about the nicest guy in the world, Mick Foley? I was training four new hires at the Magic Kingdom. God bless him for all the jumps and flips and kicks he did. It's taken a toll on his body. He was in a rascal scooter. He was oh, yeah. at the Magic Kingdom in front of the Liberty Tree Tavern with his son. They come around the bend, and I'm training these new hires, and I'm telling them, yeah, guys, so when you go to the Liberty Tree, this is one of the restaurants you'll take most of your families to. And holy shit, give me two seconds. I saw him <laughs> come around the bend. I sprint over and I go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm a huge fan. I'm not going to take you from your family. I just want to say thank you. I, when I was a kid and, and he literally grabbed my wrist and pulled me in close and he goes, son, have a magical day. You're very welcome. And I walked away from him like I just met a sainted man. And I, they're like, who is that? And I'm like, if you don't know, it's okay. Just know yeah, that there's a special know. place in heaven for men like that. That yeah. dude I was in a heated conversation with his son, and he broke that to hold my hand and say, thank you, have a magical day. Like, that dude rocks, dude. I mean, literally, That's you so couldn't cool. have prepared her to a cooler person. Yeah. Yeah, I got to meet him in uh, Lexington, Kentucky at a convention, and I got one of the Cactus Jack shirts signed by him. He was Cactus so cool Jack. to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, please make sure to follow Miss Quinn everywhere on Harley Quinn Arts. And then uh, if you guys uh, liked Rocky and um, John, Rocky is the what 
What's the Fuss podcast, and John is funny to informing. They actually work together a bunch, and they're kind of basically on each other's shows all the time, so please support those two amazing local podcasts. If you like this show, I don't know how, but if you like this show, I am Josh of J. Bauer Art, Back Talk with Bauer. Uh, you can catch the show on all your favorite uh, podcast apps. You can catch on the HWWS Web TV YouTube channel and Facebook page. If you like the artwork behind me, head over to jbauerartshop.com to purchase any of that. Uh, I also have stickers. I got a uh, Back Talk with Bauer t-shirt coming out. Uh, he was not here tonight, but support Eric Pabone. He was supposed to be one of the guests, but he had some family things come up. This is one of his amazing t-shirts, so support him. Uh, other than that... you want to get a Harlequin... A Harlequin t-shirt, go to hquinarts.com and go to my shop. There you, can you go. A t-shirt with the logo that this man designed. Pretty much every logo in her shop I made. <laughs> yeah, so that, that is true. You have made Dude. every single logo that I use. I, you're, my favorite still is the Haunted Harlequin logo. Haunted Harlequin I, is I use it for everywhere. Huh? I have that on mugs. Yes, I got to get one of those mugs. I keep forgetting. But yeah, I love the Haunted Harlequin logo. Is, is it bad it that I could keep this conversation going for another three hours? Like, this is so <laughs> much fun. I hate that I have uh, to say goodnight to you guys. I really do. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you guys want, I'm looking to get like a, a group of Zoom people to get together and just bullshit. <laughs> like, well, let me ask you this real quick. Uh, Miss Willow, I know that you're from Canada. Uh, Miss yep. Harlequin, where are you from? Orlando, Florida. Oh, you're a local? Where, what part of Orlando, if I may, or is that too specific? Like 20 minutes from Josh. Yeah. And Josh, where are you from? Longwood. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm on the other side. I'm from Ocoee. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're all pretty close to you. Except for Willow. All right, so we just got to fly Willow. Willow here on a private jet. NBD. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm really hoping uh, eventually that we will get a uh, get a willow down here and get a big group of people uh, together once we can bro, and, and do bro, the why big don't we head over to Kingdom of Comics? Why don't we head We're over to Kingdom of Comics? We could sit at the bar so I'd have something to do. House. Yeah. What, what was that, Quinn? Because we aren't going to Kingdom of Comics because we need to ambush Pop Pop's house. Yeah, we do need to ambush Pop Pop's house. <laughs> well, we should, be, we should talk about having, like... Um, like maybe a media a media day or oh yeah three, a three day weekend where we just like shoot the shit oh, yeah and, and then record uh, a bunch of shows in person and everything so hopefully once we get into a little bit more of regular life uh we'll get that set up but I, I like what joey said we could chat until the end of days but we have to get going so i will catch all you guys later you guys stay for a second because joey i gotta talk to you real quick but thank you guys for tuning in and i will catch you guys next week later bye